Uh, hi guys, today I'm going to do an, an unboxing of the 4090 graphic card that I purchased today. Um, the reason I purchased this graphic card is because um, I was doing some development last night. Um, for some reason, I couldn't get the code running on my current card. So, and I tried to debug it, and I found out for that particular package, um, my card doesn't work. And hence, I I was thinking for the whole whole night, what should I do? Because for 1490 is quite expensive, and after some um, some thinking, um, not trivial, and I decided to purchase the, this 1490. Um, why that's trivial? Because um, instead of buying 1490, you can also buy 3090. Um, but there are some trade-offs. For me, uh, I'm not playing games. Uh, I use this for work. So therefore, I decided to buy 1490 instead. Okay. Um, the reason I purchased this particular one, the Ventus 3X, is because um, it's because I want to um, I want to do some modification in the, um, um, down the road. Um, this card, by design, is a bit simple to do, so I decided to buy this one. For that purpose, okay, um, and plus that the price with this car is not as high as the other cars, so I purchased this one. Okay, let's do an unboxing of this card. Um, compared with the other 1490 cards, this one is not huge. Okay, uh, I won't show you the serial number, um, but just show you what. Package looks like. Okay. So that's the end. Uh, that's the back of the case. Um, so it's a triple fan. Um, this particular model is, is an overclock model, so I don't know um, what's the performance, for example. Um, What's the temperature and what's the noise level? That I don't know. Um, and it supports quite a few new features like ray tracing, and DLSS, etc. for gaming. Okay, but I'm using it for for work, so it's a uh, it's different. Okay. Uh, so that's the end. That's the back of the case. And there's another side that shows some. Information. So basically, different languages and showing showing that what product it is and some recycling labels. Okay, let's just open it. Okay. It's um, as I mentioned. It's it's not as high end as the other models. Therefore, the package is relatively simple. So it's a very simple package. And at the end of the day, you, I, I was asking myself, what did I do? Why I pay so much money to buy this one, which is so simple? Okay. Um, let me just show you what's included. Okay, it includes uh, the new power adapter, uh, sorry, the new power sockets, and and the adapter that you can use it for um, the old um, power supply. If you want to use this one, you need a power supply with ATX um, 3.0. So that's. Uh, if before that, then you can use this adapter. Okay. Uh, then it has this. Okay. 
I think what this does is to support the graphic card because the graphic card is very heavy. I will show you later. Hans, if you if you hang the graphic card, um, for example, if if this is the motherboard, if you hang the graphic card this way, you'll be the card will be very heavy, so you will maybe just um, toward towards bending downwards. So maybe that might be bad for the car or the, also the motherboard. Therefore, I think what the bracket does is to support the card. Okay. Uh, and then just the card. Okay. It also has a menu. I think that's the menu. Oh, a quick start, a quick user guide. Okay. That's about it. Very simple package and then nothing inside okay so let's just show what's the card okay as you can see it's very fairly large and thick okay. Try to not damage the package because in case you if there's something wrong you need to return it then at least you leave the packaging in good state. So that's the card. So when I went to the shop to buy it, they said it's a it's a new card. Um, hopefully that's the case. It's, uh, it looks all right, okay. Nothing to complain about. So as you can see, that's the new connector. Um, to be honest, I quite like it. Uh, as the way it is, it's a it's a simple design, not a very complicated and fancy. Okay. So that's the that's the back. I won't show the serial number. Okay. That's the sideways, so there's only one HDMI, HDMI port. Okay. Um, uh, what's the back? Uh, what's the, the bottom? So that's the bottom. Uh, yeah, in, in general, I, I quite like it. I, I quite like it. I quite like the card. So it's one, one, two, three. Mm 
I don't know, from from the side it seems that it's used, but I don't know whether that's the case or not. Maybe that's not that's not the case, it's it's like that. But um but it's one slot, two slots. I'm not sure whether it it's definitely three slots, but I'm not sure whether it's three or three point half. That I don't know. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, anyways, that's the that's that's the end of this video. Um, I I will keep you guys updated, and I need to learn some uh, intrinsics about this card. For example, if it's uh, one, it's by default it's overclocking, right? It might be very hot, so I might need to um, change some setting. For example. Um, power limit the card to reduce the heat or the fan fan speed etc or down the road I might need to change the card somehow um, also uh, I might share some information about myself using the card for machine learning uh, for example artificial intelligence so if you guys are interested please subscribe uh, to this channel and yeah, that that's uh, that would be really helpful if you guys subscribe to this channel to support myself to to keep posting videos and to grow this channel a bit more. And and with more support, I can post more contents. That that would be really helpful. Um, anyhow, that's about it. Um, stay tuned for any updates about the card and how I will use this card for machine learning. Thanks guys for watching, see you.